Okay, so in this video, we're going to use the PA equals LU factorization to solve uh, a system of the form AX equals B. Okay, so we'll solve this system AX equals B, where A is this matrix here, where we just computed the PA equals LU factorization. Uh, and this is our vector B. Okay, so um, remember, in, in just using the LU factorization, it's, there's a two-step process. Okay, except here now, um, the first step is modified slightly. So what we end up doing is, um, you know, if we start with AX equals B, multiply both sides of, the, of that equation by P. And so we get P A X equals P times B. Okay. And now, if we were to write down those two steps that we need to do, the first step... Um, would be to solve, um, so, well, if we were to replace the PA with LU, we get LUX equals PB. And if you recall, what we did was we set the UX equal to C. And if we do that, then our first step now is L times C equals P times B. Okay. And then the second step, is to do um, ux equals c. So um, uh, for this problem here, our first step. So let me, I'll erase this part here. And to do our first step, we write down the following. Well, um, I'll have you do this, check this by hand. I don't want to write P down. I don't have much room here. So if you compute P times B, um, I think what happens, I mean, I remember what P did. P switched rows 1 and 2 and then 2 and 3. So if you were to do that with B, just we would switch 0 and 5. Okay, so we have a 0 up here, and then we would switch 5 and 6. So I believe it should be 0, 6, 5 if you do P times B, and you could check that out. But it should be 0, 6, 5. Okay, so P times B is the vector 0, 6, 5. And now we solve. Um, so this system now becomes... <clears throat> so L from the previous video was the following. 1, 0, 0. 1 fourth, 1, 0. 1 half minus 1 half, 0. Okay, C is unknown. And our P times B is the vector 0, 6, 5. Okay. And now we use that forward substitution process. So the forward substitution gives us, well, C1, I can see equals 0. And then, well, C2 is going to end up equaling 6. Okay. And if I substitute C1 and C2 into this last, um, so there's a, that's equal 1, right? Um, if I plug C1 and C2 into this last equation, um, it turns out C3 equals 8. Okay, I'll give you a moment to um, make sure that uh, you agree with this. So our C vector is the vector 0, 6, 8. And then we go on to step 2. And step 2 was to solve ux equals C. Okay, and our matrix U from the previous video was this matrix here. Uh, 4, 4, minus 4, 0, 2, 2, 0, 0, 8. And now we want to solve for x1, x2, and x3. Okay, um, and this all equals our vector C, that's 0, 6, and 8. Okay. And now we use back substitution to solve. So I can see here that x3 equals 1, x2, let's see, what does x2 need to be? <clears throat> I'll be subtracting 2 from both sides. I get 2x2 two equals 4, x2 equals 2, and then x1 equals... All right, so we get a 4 plus 8 
that's 12. If I subtract 12 from both sides and then divide by minus 4, it looks like x1 should be 3. So our solution to this problem is the vector 3, 2, 1. I just want to look, make sure that um, well, the solution is on some other page, but uh, this is the solution using PA equals LU factorization.